welcome back so today we want to look at how to make a real estate flyer okay we are using this custom size let's first as usual let's set the background now we're changing the background color to a white color like normal color just make it a normal white plain color okay good now the next thing is to create a shape I'll create a rectangular shape like this to cover the page you can see that and let's make it let's give it a color let's say color purple let me come back to the normal color page here make it color purple okay, pop color like this edit it and then go back and make it deeper you can see this so make the pop color deep like that okay now bring it down you can see this okay now just duplicate that and like to cover some part of the page at the top here like this you can see this okay great now the next thing is to create another shape this time we are creating a call out like this one let's give it another color so as you can see it very well okay we are making it the same pop color that we are making use of so just rotate it a little like this you can reduce the size this size and rotate it a little to be something like this you can see how I position this so just move it to the back like this okay now you can come to layer and just lock this just lock these items to avoid them from shaking so when you lock them come back again now let's start our <coughs> excuse me let's start our design okay we are trying to create an impression of a home like trying to advertise people to buy a home so we're making use of a building like a house I have I have an item that I downloaded that I want us to make use of okay here is it you can see this very good now you can just increase the size to a sizable uh, sizable portion like this or even bigger something like this now just send it to the back send that to the back you can see this it's like you are presenting the house to whoever is looking at this with the hope you wanting them to buy the house so now with this being done let's say okay if the brand has a logo let's add a logo to it so you must have gotten their logo from wherever it is okay this is a logo that i'll be making use of so you can just position this somewhere inside here you can change the color also to let's say color white make it a white color like this great the next thing is to add a text let's add a text like a new text now let's say the name of the the name of the so sharon home let's make it sharon homes something like this okay make it a capital letter okay that and just Come here and reduce the size to fit in but before that let's change the color to white color also so as we can be clear to see now good you can go and get a font for this or just leave it the way it is it's obvious they can easily see it so you can get the font to beautify it or leave it like this the next thing is to add some text to this let's say the best time to own a home the best time best time to buy a house or best time to own or best time to let's take it slow the where you best go, time go to can just make it let's see the bottom I'm going down with you let's make it let's best slow. time who cares where we got to be you know you'll have a good the food text is best time to be a landlord but now let's make this okay it's okay that bring it in here then let's search for a font for it the best font that will work so well for this should be signature font i know where i usually get that under signature so just get something that will fit in that will fit in so well you say we're taking on water, yeah, we're 
I don't want something too bulky. I just want something light like this. Okay, let's make use of this. And say, okay, let's make use of this. The best time to own a home. So now let's give this a color. Best time to be a landlord. Let's give this a color. You can just make it any color. But let's say we are making it light purple like this. Okay? You can give it any color. You can give it blue. You can give it orange. You can give it golden. But just make sure it aligns properly with your design. The color must flow so well. So now let's add the other text which is landlord. The best time to be a landlord is now. So the next text should be landlord is now. You can see that. Okay. This one you can make this a capital letter. No, let's not make it a capital letter. Edit it. Let's make the initials capital letter and not the whole thing capital letter. Something like this. Okay. Okay that. And just bring this here now let's get the font that will make it bold and obvious to see when you're looking for something bold what i usually use for tutorials is you can use this or you can use this okay this one is fine criterious regular okay let's use criterious regular and just reduce the size to something like this you can see this so it is the size for that and come and make it let's say regular black like plain black on that color just make it a pure black like this you can see this so anybody that sees this will, see, will easily read it the best time to be you can add the a best time to be landlord is now now the next thing is to beautify it and add some information to it now, adding information to this is really simple. You can make use of different methods. But before that, let me create something like another shape. Let me create a circular shape. A circular shape. Okay, this, something like this. Just increase the size of this to cover the page like this. You can see this. Now, make this. Make this okay that and just come to color also you can make it a purple color purple color like this okay and then come to here align it to the center great and just send it to the back this time around you just send it to the back so this shape is at the front this this shape let's go and unlock it from here this shape unlock it okay and just bring it down here just bring it down a little bring it down a little like this let's increase this okay you have to bring this send this building let's send it to the back like this so we can send the building to the back like this can see that now let's change the color of this let's make it um let's make it something like this you can see this okay you can bring this down a little now you can see how everything is working out properly well now the next thing is let's add some let's say if you have a price range for the for the houses now let's say one point let's say one point Five zero million. Let's put it in Naira. Okay, something like this. Okay, and just bring it down. Just come and give it a font. Let's make use of a uh, recent. Okay, we made use of this. Just make use of that also, and just reduce the size. Put it somewhere here just put it somewhere here then you come to and come and change the color let's make it a white color okay great all you just have to do now let's say we are duplicating this 
let's say the prices are in different ranges so you can just duplicate that and position it somewhere else like this duplicate that again and bring that to this side you can see this let me bring this down a little okay position this here let's use positioning to do center this property so it will form the basis of our alignment so you align everything properly you can see that okay now the next thing is let's say we want to add the the measurement of each land and their prices let's say this one is 600 square meters 600 something like this okay so you can just reduce the size of this also bring it down to under this particular first text and come to font to color and make it white color also just like that okay position it under this one let's say we want to change the pricing of this one let's make it two points so let's make it um, Let's say we are making it 400 and one point let's make it the first one is let's say this one is just one point one point okay one one fifty let's make it one okay okay and just put that here let's say the square meters now you duplicate that also and just bring it underneath this place let's edit the square meters let's say this one is not 600 meters let's make it 450 450 square meters just like that okay duplicate that again position it under this one and let's say this one is just um, 300 square meters 300 just like that okay so just position everything and then align it properly now the next thing is let's say you want to add some other informations at the at the down here let's say i'm adding something like a, a barcode so i'll just come and pick up a barcode from one of my collections let's see Okay, here is a barcode, something like this. Okay, I think I'll try and make this ones available, but we can easily get this. It's also part of the collections of materials, graphic designing bundle that I have for sale. So, just like this, you can come and check the size and make it bigger if you want, and then position it properly. You can use your positioning to to position it properly something like this okay good now the next thing let me lock this source let me lock the background shape like that okay so i haven't locked this now the next thing is let's start imputing the information let's say text let's say to, this code should now be a text should be in front of it something like let's say sharon garden something like this development limited okay this is something like this okay. let's make the initials capital letter okay here we have it just reduce the shape and make it fit in just watch as i do that back and just make this you can just make it color a pure black color like this can increase the size for that
something like this. Okay, let's see. Now this is it. You can make it. You can pick a font for it if you like. But let me add a font for it. Let me add a font to this. Let's make use of the same font that we have been using. Okay. Okay, let's say this is it. Now, with this, you can just add anything. Let's say, let me bring this up here. So you can just add the text of, let's say, scan here. Back. Okay, you just add a new text. A new text and say, scan here so you can make this one a capital letter to make it really obvious something like this so you reduce the size very well so you can position the scan here and then check the sizing reduce the size to let's say something like 10 or 12 now let's give it a color here i'll just come and pick a color from what i have on the page let me see i'm picking a color from this this red color okay okay that and now you can see it's standing out why am i using a red color so as it can call the attention of whoever is looking at this you can easily see that okay here is where you can scan to get to our web page or see what we have for you something like that so you can see that so just take your time and arrange it properly let's say the next thing that i want to do now is just to add some other informations like phone number let me create a shape let me create a shape to beautify it's not necessary you create the shape but you can create it if you like so this one will just be somewhere here like this which you can serve as a let's say phone number you can insert the for more inquiries you can insert this here now you can duplicate this okay that just come here and duplicate this can you can duplicate it then edit it and let's say okay for more inquiries more information or inquiries just like that then you make it you can make it a capital letter if you like for more inquiries call okay just Bring it right down above this place you can see this okay so you can move it down okay now you can just go and type in let's say a new text of um, a new text of let's phone number this one can be Zero, zero eight one space one two three like that space five six seven eight nine so it can be something like this okay just get a font for it also get a font for this so let's make use of the same font that we have been using okay font recent so you can just make use of your font like this okay and just position it somewhere here you can see that okay good now the next thing is to run the top let's say you have some social media handles that you would like to include you can just come here and add let's say a collection of social media handles a collection of social media handles like I do used to hide them so it can just be something like this then crop out 
whatever you want to use you can add them one after the other it's not a must you make them a collection like i just did because it might not be arranged properly the way you want it or the way the company or the the owner of the business the flyer you are making wants it so you can arrange it in the order at which they want it so here you can just make the color of that let's make it a, a white color you can make it a red color but let me see if i can make it a white color let me make it a white color like this okay so you can just duplicate the let's say the for more inquiries duplicate it edit it and just type in whatever the handle is let's say sharon holmes Sharon Holmes Sharon Holmes 23 something like this okay and just bring it right down in front of that just like that you can see that so you can use your positioning tree if it is too small to arrange it like this then let me adjust this also with my positioning tool just adjust this a little so 